have so much fun and precious. Yes, they're precious. And my kids are upset because they're like, you're not the lady that we grew up with. <laughs> so, you know, the grandkids are going to get this whole nother wonderful woman, which is like they're supposed to. And they got my father, who, when he, um, he passed, I guess a little over a year ago, my daughter helped to take care of him. But I'm like, I remember that old man. You know, so that's what you got to be good to your grandchildren for, because she was sweet, and granddaddy is the funniest, smartest man I've ever met. And I'm like, that's how my grandchildren will say about me. Grand <laughs> grandmother. <laughs> yes. And she's just so sweet, and she was so much fun, and my kids are like, who is this? <laughs> that's not who we were raised with. <laughs> that's what happens. <laughs> so I'm looking forward to them. I'm like, I'm just going to lick them. Um, <laughs> So with, yeah, I'm excited. They're like, Mother, please give us time. I'm like, I, you know, no rush. No rush, but I'm just waiting for them. So how do you know how significant you are? You know, what could happen or move because you chose for that to happen? But sometimes, including myself, I sit back and I'm like, well, it'll happen anyway. You know, it's not. If I don't do it, someone else will do it. That's right. You know, that's not necessarily always the case. It may get done, and it may get done at a later time. It may not impact who could have been impacted, or in the time frame it could have been impacted, you know? But you are significant that there are things that you can do and people you can touch that only sometimes we have to remember that. Sometimes we put it off and act like someone else can do it. Mm. So figure out, and that's what when I'm doing my business coaching or doing, I'm like, who are you going to impact? Just like when Abong shared her story, I said sometimes it has to get tiring or frustrating because, you know, she didn't have any of the funds available. She didn't have, that she could see, that she could see. But God can see all of it, right? That's and right. so it takes us by faith to step out and make those things happen. But she had to keep her eyes on someone else. Because sometimes if we're just thinking about ourselves, we don't move. I do the same thing. I'm like, I won't. You know, I can do it tomorrow. But then when I think about, it would have been easy to sleep in this morning. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or to go play tennis. That would have been fun. But I'm like, well, you know, even though it may not seem like it's a significant talk or whatever, but it is. Someone, what I have to say could be very impactful. It could be just the thing that shifts them. Something that they've heard 10,000 times before, but you know, it's just like that Sunday morning service. You heard it how many times? But that one Sunday morning, it meant something different, right? Okay, so you all exactly know what I'm talking about. So how many of you, you had written down the crazy dream? Did you write down the big dream? Anybody write down? Can you share it with the person beside you? Or anybody want to yeah, go ahead and share it? Y'all can share it together first. Oh, okay. This is what I want. I want to have a whole bunch of holy witnesses. I want them to in more churches, and I want it to become more. Uh, I want it to become more holy versus I think it does. I think it gives you credibility. I mean, you know, 
just like yeah, just like going in and out of your power. So you're doing the right thing. And you'll see it. Okay, who would like to share with all of us? I will. Lisa will. Hmm. Well, I didn't know it. Okay, I'm not even taping anybody. But um, <laughs> I didn't know it. But until after you asked that question, I didn't even feel it in my bones until I had to think about it. And I believe what I want is I want to see more holy fitness classes in my own church. I want to see them in other churches. And I want it to become more of who I am versus me being the website lady. That's wow. big. Yeah. Thank you for that. So how many people is that impact? It's going to be huge. Lots of people. People are going to be transforming their lives by coming to the class, and then they go home and they spread it within the family, Transform just like family. it's happening already. Absolutely. Amen. Since I've started this, my oh, first of all, my husband, my son, and I have been dieting for five years, and all we're doing is growing outward. And um, we we couldn't keep a diet for a week. I mean, days is was a you know <laughs> we get ice cream the third day. So <laughs> you were watching your wife. <laughs> we were watching it grow. Right, right. Now um, since we've since I've started this program my husband's lost 20 pounds my son's lost 12 and I've lost 13 <laughs> and so it's not only affecting my family but because it wasn't something I wanted to do alone a friend gave me the materials and I wanted to share it with my church so I've made it available at my church I've made it available to those who else you know through the groups that I attend if they want to come, they're more than welcome. And I, I do. I want to see it everywhere. That oh. is so, so exciting. Thank you. Because you can see it past your family. You can mm -hmm. see it past your immediate community. Mm -hmm. And that's the amazing part of it, especially to know that we're all connected. And that's the, the one thing, um, one of the symbols that I use in my logo is a butterfly. Because I love the process of metamorphosis, but I also love the butterfly effect to know that you touch someone, they touch someone, and it goes on and on, and none of us are disconnected. And so you making that bold move moves the entire, the whole planet moves. Do you get that? Yeah. The entire planet moves because of that. And so we have to be mindful of who we are, of really who we are, and not, this is not for play. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's like, when God created us, he put the best stuff in us, you know? And so we have to be mindful of that. We have to really, really walk as if we are the kings and queens that we are. Right. Do you understand that? I do. Can I add one more thing? Sure. I just really got to say this. Um, you know, we all have a lot of stuff that we hang on to. And in my house alone, I have this living room right now. We're transforming bedrooms, whatever. I have lots of stuff in boxes that I don't even know what's in those boxes, right. but they're going to get out into the building and they'll be in those, in, you know, out of, my, out of my eyesight. My friend Nicole gave me something that was just stuff to her at the moment. She was done with it. It was in a bag and it was just stuff when she heard my cry out for something. You know, for, for scriptural, Bible-based weight loss. And she handed that to me. She cleaned out her stuff, gave it to me as a gift. And look what it's doing already. So I just want to thank you for cleaning out your stuff. <laughs> I don't think it was for me in the first place. But, I but that's the, that is so it wasn't for me. I knew it wasn't for me. It just kind of was like, what am I going to do with this? And then it popped up. So she just happened to be uh, a baby. And it's, <laughs> it's, your it's funny because that's, mm -hmm. that's a, the other thing that I will hit on, two things with that, because it was, I thought about that even in this group, um, because a lot of times we don't share and speak enough. And because if you keep it closed in, no one knows how to help you. Mm -hmm. right? No one knows how to do this. The universe, God doesn't know how to do this. I mean, he does know how to do it, but needs, to, needs your input on what 
what you're willing to accept. Do you understand? God has all of it, but needs you to say, I'm ready for it. So the thing of what I was going to say, I said significance last. Mm -hmm. Yes. It was focus. It's the next one. And subconscious mind. And so, again, it might sound just about the same thing. Intention is setting a, a just setting your intention, setting your purpose. The significance of understanding who you are, why you need to be the one to fulfill that. To focus means to really have a laser beam. If you know like candescent light, it's like a broad rays of light, and then there's a laser beam, right? So you can take the same amount of light molecule, but once it's focused in a laser, it can cut through steel. The most powerful thing on this planet is our mind. Do you understand that? The greatest computer can't even outcompute our mind right now. It's probably running close, but <laughs> we, we're still a, an amazing being in, in ourselves yeah. that we don't fully put into action consciously. Subconsciously, miracles are happening. You don't think about your heart beating. You don't think about your eyes blinking. You don't think about seeing, swallowing. You know, your brain is making all that happen, right? But your brain is making some other things happen too. So I have favorite numbers. Anybody have, I'm a numbers person, so don't, I won't even ask that question, but I might have a few. <laughs> so mine is one, two, four. So if I'm driving down the street, I can see one, two, four, 1204, 12, 24, my brain picks it up. Anyone familiar with that phenomenon? Because you know when you saw the car that you wanted, you bought the car and you had never seen the car before, you only bought two, but as soon as you bought the car, everybody, everybody uh, unfortunately they sold like 10,000 of those cars in your city, right? <coughs> it's called your reticular activating system. So that's why I say focus. When you decide something, when you make that intention on something, it's the power of decision. So God has allowed our brains, allowed the universe to conspire with us and shows us what it is we need to see, who we need to see. Because if you didn't say what you needed to say, she wouldn't have known, oh, I've got something for her. You know, she immediately picked up on it. When you hear something else and you, so those are the different triggers that happen out in the universe. So that's why we have to set our intentions and focus and know exactly what we want so that when it appears and pops up, you know to seize the day, right? Because if you don't know it, if you haven't decided that I want this to go global, then when the opportunity presents itself, you won't really see it. Do you understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So that's why this is so important for you to understand how your body works. Your, your body will be able to see an opportunity that normally you wouldn't see, but it will be able to see it because you've written it, that you've, you've set the intention, you understand that you have created what it is that you're choosing next thing is, are you teachable and coachable? If you already think you got it, you missed it. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the biggest thing I learned from another mentor, is that even the simplest thing, if you think you already know the answer to something, you think you've already heard it enough, missed another opportunity because there's always another way of seeing something else. Anyone agree with me on that? Yeah, absolutely. And that's even, and you know what, that helps in your relationships with your children, spouse, co-workers. Um, when I am also doing my business coaching and I'm trying to work on certain areas, and I always have to go back to them because you show up. You show up at work, you show up at home, you show up in the 
grocery store. So when you continually have the same experiences over and over again, this person got on my nerves, this, well, you're the one showing up, right? So sometimes we have to look at ourselves. Are you willing to see something a different way? 